Hey right, guys, Mr. MJ Fan 101 Alt here, back for some more Black Ops 2 gameplays. Thanks for the recommendation, Coops Elite, on the Chicom. I don't have the tar tar I didn't have the Target Finder unlocked yet, but I used Long Barrel um, for some extra damage at long range, and I used Reflex since I didn't have Target Finder. And my God, the Chicom is a beast. So, um, continuing where I'm on, we're at uh, Adrenaline. That's the next step in the Halo story. So, um, basically, what happened is. Uh, Matt didn't really like Halo Racing, so he was done with Adrenaline pretty quickly. Um, I, I decided to stick around uh, for longer than him. The Nationwide Series was the first thing we did, and I, I, had, I finished third in points. I had some pretty good races. Um, the best race I did, I think, is called Dr. Pepper Speedway. I was the fastest dude there. I was the fastest driver. Um, I just I made a mistake in the pits. I had a problem with my controller at the time, and it messed me up in the pits. And if it weren't for that, I would have won that race. If it weren't for that pit screw up, I would have won that race. I think that was my top three as well. I got a top three there still, but I was super fast there. I definitely would have beat everybody else. Uh, Canucks Legend ended up winning the championship, which is kind of stupid. Uh, the guy Hellfire should have won it, um, but he his power went out just having to go out at the uh, at the uh, last race. You know, look at that luck. But yeah, Hellfire Hellfire would have won if he would have showed up. Um, so it's unfortunate for him. That's how Nationwide went. I, I finished top three in my first like finished Halo series uh, in points, so I felt really accomplished. I got a, I got a podium. I felt really accomplished. But but when I, I when we moved in when I moved into the big ranks, I'm like, oh, oh this is gonna get good. Uh, well, actually, before then there was KN. There was KN and KN was all, all the drivers from I'll just call it the big leagues, the Adrenaline League. Um, and nationwide, it's just every driver in K&N. It's mostly short tracks. It was just sort ten race series, and I was excited for it. I was excited for it. You know, I was improving. Um, first couple races, I think I got a podium or two. I had some pretty decent results, but then came. Uh, I think it was either my first or second podium as a road course, but I did pretty decent there. I like that road course. But then came middle of the season, Boulder Bay. I was doing decent in points, but then Boulder Bay came. Racing that track and qualifying, it was a new track. I was like, oh man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win here. I'm going to get my first win. And uh, I did. It was a tough race, but I got my first win at Boulder Bay. I led the most laps. It was uh, definitely some complications in that race. It wasn't an easy race, but I ended up winning it. Um, and then after that, I just got on a hot streak. I was getting top threes every race. When we got to New Hampshire, I got my second win. And that was my most... That, that, that is what I considered my first win. Even though I felt really good at Boulder Bay, um, I, I, I really considered my best win at the time, New Hampshire, because that win... I was just sort of in the field, but around the like then the last caution, I just passed everybody, and I ended up winning the race by like a straightaway. That was like the first race, you know, Boulder Bay was kind of close. That was the first race where I really dominated and just won. So that that win felt really good, and I I started to get a lead. Um, nobody nobody counted me in the championship battle really, um, at the beginning of K and N. But uh, the guy that won Nationwide Canucks had some bad finishes. Hellfire didn't show up as much, and uh, you know other people didn't show up as much. And I I showed up to every race, and I had really good results um, as well. It it wasn't just that I showed up to every race. I had really good results. I had wins. I had top threes. Um, so I just had a really good season in K and N. And um, so yeah, I was going. You know, nobody really expected me to get a win or get a championship. So just coming out there and finally getting my win, finally getting my championship, felt great. It felt awesome, um, and I, I was I was really glad. Uh, wow, I really jumped into the championship soon. But yeah, going to the last week, uh, all I needed to do was finish finish the race. Um, I put myself in such a good position that in the last race, all I needed to do was finish the race, and I would have won the championship. And I finished the race second, and I won the championship. So another podium and the championship, and I felt so good. It was my first championship ever on Halo, and it just came. It just you know it came out of nowhere. Uh, in a way, I just, I, I mean, I, I don't want to say it came out of nowhere because I did improve a lot that season. I, I did improve a lot in k and That's where I just, there's like this sort of skill gap I hit where I was like, oh, I'm good now. I can win races now. And that felt great. Um, so I hit that. I won k and We went on to the Adrenaline full se season. And I, I won a couple races in that. Uh, I, won, I won a couple races uh, for something. I got a lot of podiums. And I, I didn't really enjoy Halo racing. I mean, I, I liked winning, but Halo Racing in general just got really, I, I don't know, I think I wanted something else, or I, I just wasn't enjoying it, so I ended up leaving that league. Um, I, there was more to it, more drama or whatever, but it's honestly so long ago that I don't even remember. So I ended up leaving that league, 
I got four wins that season. I don't know even I don't even know where I finished in points, but I got four wins, got a lot of podiums. So yeah, I felt I felt good. And um, when I came back to Halo Racing, I think I went back to Adrenaline and I won the season. I came back, I won six races. I finished third in the points, um, and I got a ton, plenty of plenty of podiums. I won the most races out of anybody with six. So I felt great. Um, that was like the last season Adrenaline ever did. So I, I was fine with that because that was a great season and I really enjoyed it. Um, Next up is, uh, ORL, right? Oh, and, uh, I also started, uh, to form, I wanted to form my own racing league, so I, I, uh, just sort of used a mix of tracks I found on Halo from everywhere, and I formed my own Halo racing league, and it was mostly just me and my friends, you know, it wasn't really anything serious. Um, the first season in that, I, uh, won, I think, six races, ended up winning the championship, um, but, it, you know, it was mostly me and my friends. But it was still a competitive league, and we had a lot of good races. The last race, especially Texas, oh man, that's when that's when HRL started the main series. Uh, it was just it was a mix of um, oval race tracks, super cross tracks, um, road courses. It was a mix of everything, and it was just me and my friends, and it was really fun. And um, I ended up winning that championship, so that was my second championship in Halo. Um, but I wanted I wanted to get another championship in a league besides my own, so I joined the ORL. Which was something like I had never raced before, but we'll we'll go on with uh, uh do I have enough time for this ORL story? I guess I'll just uh, so I'll I'll end this commentary with adrenaline. So that's that's how my whole adrenaline. I came back, I won those races, and that sort of adrenaline went, and then I became I, I started HRL, and HRL is going to evolve a lot from main series. It's going to evolve a lot. Um, I also ended up joining more leagues on top of doing adrenaline, which I ended up quitting again. Um, I, I started doing ORL, and ORL became another main league of mine. Those are really the only main leagues I ever did was besides HRL, besides my own. I just did adrenaline and ORL. That's about it. Um, ORL's uh, Outlaw Racing League is what it stood for. HRL stood for Halo at the time Reach Legends, and then when Four came out, Halo Racing Legends. Um, so that's that's what HRL was. And uh, let's just uh, I'll just commentate on the game gameplay for the rest of it because ORL. This my that's another that's that's a, that's for another video. I thought adrenaline would have took longer, but adrenaline really did not take as long as I thought. Um, but ORL is definitely definitely for a new video because um, that's a big that's a that's a whole another giant to cover in this big uh, racing story. Um, but I will sort of prelude it. Um, joining the ORL combined my adrenaline wins. Uh, sorry for that interruption. Uh, but anyways, um, moving on. Uh, I had about uh, pre prelude to ORL. Um, I had about 20 wins in Halo, maybe maybe like 40, 50 podiums. Or no, no, no. Probably like if you combine Adrenaline, HRL, I probably had about 10 to 15 wins in Halo, maybe 30, 30, 40 podiums combined. And I, I hadn't nearly raced as many races as I have raced now. So going into ORL and then you know. Um, I, I hadn't had much of a Halo career, uh, you know, when I went into, even though that whole season I was talking about in Adrenaline hadn't ended, or hadn't even started at this point, th this, this whole storyline's kind of out of order, because I already talked about my last season in Adrenaline, that happens way after ORL, um, I just thought I'd get that chapter of my racing just out of the way, and then HRL, ORL starts, I just talked about the end of HRL and winning the championship of the first season, I haven't, you know, ORL happened before that, before that ended, so, you know, the story's, the story's kind of out of place, um, but at the end of this first ORL season, I'll sort of, you know, let you know kind of where we're at right now, um, it's, it, it is 2012, I will update you on that, at this point it is 2012, it is the end of 2012, uh, September when I start racing in the ORL, um, like I said, I only had so many wins, I, I hadn't had any experience in Supercross, so it was a whole new thing for me. It's a whole new thing for me. Um, I wanted to start up, and I'm going to talk about... I'm probably going to have a video about Season 3, 4, and all the races, seasons I raced in. Um, but yeah, it was a whole new thing for me. I had not known how to race Supercross. It was a whole new learning experience, and it really rejuvenated my uh, Halo racing, because I hadn't done... You know, I had done road course racing. I had done... Well, some road course racing. I had done... Um, oval racing, I had not done Supercross at all, so it was a whole new thing, it really got me rejuvenated in Halo, and I think ORL, uh, even though I think it's not nearly the league now that it used to be, and it was never great, I think Season 4 was its peak, um, easily, uh, I think Season 4 was the most fair drama-less season, if that makes sense, 
Um, I, every season after that, I've had fun after that. Um, it's just that the last season I raced in, and we're jumping way ahead here, season seven was fun, I'll admit it. You know, I had some spots in there, I, I get mad, you know, it happens. I had some spots in there where I got pretty mad at stuff that I really, you know, I'm thinking about it now, I, didn't, I shouldn't have really worried about. But, you know, I was going for a championship. I wanted to win one more championship in Orel, so, you know, I get mad. And uh, But overall, though, season seven I thought was very fun, but that's jumping way ahead. We're not even to season three yet, and that's where it all starts. I'll see you guys next time. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I uh, hope you're excited about uh, more Halo story time.